Now to the other big story we're following, that is sequestration. Time has run out for Congress to reach a deal to avoid massive spending cuts, and the president says the sequester will happen. Both sides met today to discuss a compromise, but there was no deal. And 10 on your side's Lauren Compton has more on the effects of sequestration. Lauren, the president says most people won't feel the pain overnight. That's right, Anita. In a press conference today, President Obama said the effects of the $85 billion spending cuts may take weeks or months for some people to feel, while others, like shipbuilders in the military here in Hampton Roads, could feel it right away. President Obama mentioned the ship workers he met with in Newport News on Tuesday during his press conference on sequestration. We've seen how the threats of the sequester has already affected deployments and military contracts in Hampton Roads. That is only the beginning. These cuts could reach could touch everything from college financial aid to head start to the meat industry. Neither side in Congress is budging and now the president is asking the American people to dig deep to get through this. As you know, I just met with leaders of both parties to discuss uh, a way forward in light of the severe budget cuts that start to take effect today. I told them these cuts will hurt our economy, they'll cost us jobs, uh, and to set it right, both sides need to be willing to compromise. Now, the good news is the American people are strong and they're resilient. Uh, they fought hard to recover from the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression, and we will get through this as well. Uh, even with these cuts in place, folks all across this country will work hard to make sure that we keep the recovery going. But Washington sure isn't making it easy. Uh, and I'm hopeful uh, that we won't have to deal uh, with the threat of a government shutdown uh, while uh, we're dealing with uh, the sequester at the same time. Because a deal on the sequester was not reached today, some lawmakers in Washington are willing to reach down in their own wallets until something is done. U.S. Senators Claire McCaskill and Bill Nelson introduced legislation today that would cut pay for members of Congress until a compromise on the sequestration is reached. We will continue to watch the progress of that bill. But as of right now, Congress is gone for the weekend. Lauren Compton, 10 on your side.